It's spring here in New Zealand and I've just come and checked this hive and I found out there's a lot less bees than what I thought there would be. So something's obviously going wrong. So we're gonna open up this hive and see if we can figure out why they're so weak. So as you can see in the hive here, there's not very many frames that are covered with bees. So I'm gonna lift up one of these frames and see if we can figure out why this hive is so weak. As you can see here, this brew pattern is really bad. This capped brood here should have a lot less spaces. It should be all packed together. And as you can see, we've got bees dying. I've also got deformed wings here. And I can actually even see Varroa on some of these bees. So I can tell from this pattern that this is a hive that's full of Varroa and is dying from a Varroa infestation. I don't know if you can see that there, but there's a little parasitic mite sitting on the abdomen of that bee. That is really hard to see. So if you look into a hive and you see Varroa like that, it means that this hive is really full of Varroa, like it's, it's kind of too far gone. We should have got to this hive earlier and treated it sooner to knock the Varroa down. As we can tell from these Varroa symptoms, this hive desperately needs some miticide treatment. But the fact that it's so damaged, the miticide treatment still may not work. So what we should have done is check this hive earlier and treated it sooner to try and combat these Varroa. So we found that this hive is sadly dying from Varroa. So we're going to put our gloves on and treat this hive with a miticide treatment. Now these are plastic strips that are impregnated with a chemical that kills Varroa, but it doesn't harm the bees. Now I've read the instructions and it says that these miticide strips need to be two per brood box. Now because of the chemical, and these miticide strips, always remember to wear gloves, follow all the safety precautions. And like I mentioned, this is two strips per brood box. So I'm just gonna hang these strips right where the brood and the bees are. So the chemical will come off the strips and be passed around the hive. It will kill the varroa but not harm the bees. The problem with this hive is because it's already so weak, it may be too late to save it. So whatever miticide treatment you use, just remember to follow all the health and safety instructions and read all the directions on how many you need to use per hive. So Varroa actually hold on to the side of the bees and they can actually fall off and that's what we call natural mite fall. So these plastic floorboards come with trays that you can actually pull out and see the Varroa that have fallen off the bees naturally. So checking this tray for Varroa, this isn't the best way to monitor your hive for Varroa because like I mentioned, this is only natural mite fall. So there's still many, many, many more Varroa inside the hive. But this tray shows that this little weak hive is very much dying from Varroa. In summary, this hive should have been monitored after its treatment was removed in autumn and then we would have known that the Varroa numbers were too high and we would have dealt with it back then and it would have survived through to spring.